What's up my loves? Today we're going to be playing in this gorgeous 22 inch lace wig. She came courtesy of Gossip Hair and I am absolutely in love. So specifically, we're going to be bleaching the knots and adding an elastic band. I hope you guys are ready to join the fun. Also, don't forget to make sure that you are subscribed and that you're sharing my videos. Help me get to 200k and let's get started. So step one is going to be to make the perfect bleach mixture. I'm using the BW2 Bleach by Clairol. I get the extra large tub because I do do this often. And I'm going to go ahead and add my 40 volume developer. If you are a newcomer to this, definitely recommend that you go to 30. The difference between the 30 and the 40 and the 20 are just how strong or intense they are. You want to add it in gradually little by little and mix it until you know exactly what the consistency is and if you need a little bit more um, of the developer for a more liquid or um, you know maybe basically to mix it better then go ahead and add that but you basically want to make it into a nice thick consistency so it's not too runny. Here is a close up of the lace wig we're working with. This is a 360 lace wig. You guys can see there's a nice amount of lace in the back, adjustable straps and a comb. And then there's also a great amount of lace in the front. I believe this is between four to six inches. Now there is a comb in the very center. This is where we're going to be parting the wig so we don't want a comb there for any interruption. Um, so I'm just going to go ahead and cut it out. If you are afraid to cut it out, you really won't tell the difference once you slay your wig. But I just don't want the comb there just for a more flawless finish. So the next step is going to be to cut out the excess lace in the back. Again, this is a 360 lace wig, so there is excess lace in the back. And you won't be able to get to that once you put the wig on as easy. So I'm going to take my got to be glued free spray and I'm just going to spray along the hairline really, really generously. I'm going to flip the wig over and I'm also going to spray it on the lace. And I'm going to let this dry for a little bit before applying my bleach mixture. And the reason I'm doing this is because if you've been following me for a while, you know that I ran into a little bit of a hiccup for a while where I had stopped bleaching the knots for months. I became extremely rusty and it felt like when I came back to Bleaching my knots again opposed to adding powder to the parting. Um, it just seemed like every single time I do it I would over bleach and I would find that some of the roots would be bleached um, on the hair on the opposite side when it was all said and done. And I find that adding that got to be glued spray no matter what you do will help to prevent that from happening. Now we did use three scoops of the BW bleach and I did um, you know pair it with the comparable mixture of the 40 volume developer and you guys can see that was exactly perfectly enough for me I am very generous with my um, helpings this stuff also comes in the individual packaging if you just want to bleach one time like per year or every few months you don't have to buy such a big tub but I did find it at Sally's and for your pleasure I do have it linked down below for your convenience now that it's all said and done, I kind of let it sit for about 20 to 30 minutes. You kind of want to go in and kind of just be nosy, kind of peep on the opposite side as I'm doing here and see what the progress is. This is probably about uh, 20 minutes in and you guys can see the, the knots were pretty much majority bleached. But I did let it sit on an additional 5 to 10 minutes after that and check again. And now we head over to the sink. Now you want to rinse with lukewarm water. I don't like using cold water at all. I definitely prefer to use hot water at all times. But in this case, you definitely want to use something that's warm but not too hot. Remove all of the excess bleach from the um, cap and then the entire wig. Now I'm going to use the purple shampoo. I'm going to go in and lather one time generously to wash everything, stop the bleaching, get all the bleach off, um, you know, and just make sure everything is clean. This is a peep at what the lace looks like after bleaching the knots. And we did a great job. All the knots are bleached. Um, as you part, you can see nothing is over bleached. Um, there are no blonde roots or anything crazy going on. So now that I'm happy with the result, I'm going to add a second layer of the purple shampoo. This time, I'm going to go ahead and let it sit on the lace. You guys seen in the very beginning, the lace was a little bit of a red orange color which translates to being brassy and I find that the way of getting that off is allowing the purple shampoo to sit. If you wash the lace in purple shampoo one time and take it off it doesn't sort of help to process the lace um, and turn it to a less brassy color if that makes any sense. And you guys can see now how the lace looks and it definitely is 
a lot less red and brassy and that's because I let that purple shampoo sit on for about 20 to 30 minutes now here we are adding the elastic band. I do have a detailed tutorial on how I do this and my whole technique. So if you guys are interested in knowing exactly what I'm doing or my method um, to make sure that your wig is not sliding back and it does stay in place perfectly, um, I have that link down below. Now that you see the wig is on, this is what the hairline looks like. And as you guys can see, it definitely needs a little customization. While this video is definitely about bleaching the knots, I'm going to do all the customization off camera. But here is also a shot of what the hair looks like before any processing. Okay, so I just finished playing in this hair and I love it. It's long, it's full, and I am absolutely pleased with it. So I leave for my trip tomorrow, going on a little mini vacation, and I wanted to do long, straight hair. Now, I couldn't figure out what hair to do. And then I picked this one and I definitely picked right. It's full enough, it's long enough. I know that usually when you go on like a vacation during like spring break, summertime, you wanna do curly hair because that just seems more appropriate. But I just imagine myself wearing long straight hair and being able to curl it and do, you know, cute different styles with it. So as I mentioned, this hair does come from Gossip Hair. I mean, inside my package, I included these little clips like hair clips where they have like a little um flower patterned um fabric on them they sent me some they sent me some elastic and they rolled it up really nicely and then of course my wig came nicely packaged in a bag like this this one is a 360 lace wig which even makes it more perfect because if i want to go ahead and put it up into a ponytail or a bun or whatever i have baby hair in the back and i'll kind of try to show you that a little bit in a minute this one is 22 inches long and of course it's natural straight. So you guys seen of course I did bleach the knots and that was the major purpose of this video. But of course I want to give you kind of a quick rundown and review of the hair. So bleaching the knots went a well. Um, I went ahead and left the mixture on for about 20 minutes. Um, I rinsed it out thoroughly and got all that bleach off. Um, shampooed it once with purple shampoo and then I went in for a second time with the shampoo and that's when I left it in there for about 20 to 30 minutes. Came back and um, it came out amazing. It wasn't red or brassy at all. Um, and then from there I went ahead and deep conditioned it with the silicone mix. I let it air dry on my mannequin and it's just been sitting here for about two days and now today I came back for the styling. Now I wish I would have styled it on the mannequin hand just because I prefer to. I feel like I go faster and I'm a little bit more precise when I do it on my mannequin hand. Nonetheless, I went ahead and straightened it out. Um, I used my Babyliss flat iron as I always do while I'm watching Crime Watch Daily which has been my latest obsession when I do, uh, uh, when I'm filming. Um, also, I went ahead and customized the hairline a little bit. I can definitely go in a little bit more and play with it. Also, I think I'm going to go back and tint the lace so that it is a little bit more of a perfect match. I did put powder in the part which you guys can see. I should have left it the way it was from bleaching the knots for you guys to see before I added the powder, but um, I was not thinking. Um, I definitely can add layers. I love the fact that the wig is actually full enough so that if I want to add layers on the front, it's not going to um, thin out the hair or the wig too much. Um, also, it's a 360 lace wig, so I have lace all the way over here, so I'll be able to do like half up, half down. I'll be able to do like cornrows, twisties, all different kind of styles with this hair with no problem. I don't know, it's something about like long, dark, straight hair with a little bit of baby hair or a lot. That just looks so sexy to me. So you guys see this is what the hair looks like without the powder. This is with the powder. This is without. Honestly, it matches and it looks better without the powder. But just for future habit, I went ahead and put it in there. But I will be able to like blend that out and pat it out so that it's um, kind of fades out quicker. And yeah, I have no complaints. I used all my normal products. And everything I use is listed in the description bar. Again, I do absolutely love this hair. Make sure you are subscribed and you are tuned in because I definitely am going to vlog my vacation and you guys will see this hair featured all throughout. Of course, I'm going to grab a few backup wigs just in case because you never know what hap what will happen. But if you want to see more about this hair, that is definitely um, where, or this is definitely what I'll be wearing for the next week. 
So make sure you guys check out the vlogs. Make sure you subscribe and that you are sharing my videos. I'm on the road to 150K. We are almost there and I'm just hoping, hoping, hoping that you guys help me out so we can get there by the end of April. It's also my son's birthday month, so we're gonna be having some fun for his birthday. And I'm gonna be sharing that with you guys as well. As I am short of breath and I am tired, it is 4 a.m. and I have to be up at 8 a.m. Pray for me. Yeah, so I hope you guys enjoyed this one. Don't forget to check out Gossip Hair. Link to this week is in the description bar. And as always, I'll see you in the next one.